Hello crafty friends, today we're going to make these really cute specimen windows. I'm going to use them to put in some sentiments, but you can really put any kind of item in the center to be your focal point. These are really quick and fun to make. I'm going to use happy scraps to create them. If you haven't seen how happy scraps are created, I will show you in this video. If you already know about them, you can skip forward to timestamp 7 minutes 53. To start, we'll need some scrap papers, anything that you have on your craft table. I have some old encyclopedia pages, some scrapbook paper, and some paper from a novel that I have used to do my scribbles on. I'm going to rip these into strips, roughly about two centimeters wide, but it really can be any size you want. Strips are better for what we're using, but you could also use just pieces of um, any other kind of scrap shape that you have. We only need a few for the actual specimen windows we're creating, but it's good to make quite a few of these in preparation for other projects. Using Happy Scraps, I've also created an altered playing card and some heart embellishments. I will link the videos to those tutorials in the description below, so you can pop over and have a look and see other ways that you can use these Happy Scraps. Once you've ripped up all your little pieces of scrap paper, you can put them into some sort of a container. I'm using an old shoe box, you could also use an ice cream tub, anything that you have that's handy. Just a note, these happy scraps are not my original idea. They are the brainchild of Louise Heinzel. She calls these pimping up your scraps. I will put a link to her video where she created these in the description below. Once I'm done, my box is a bit too full of scraps, so I'm taking about half of them out. The papers need some space to move. I'm using my Tim Holtz Oxide Sprays. I will put a list of the colors I have used in the description below. I alternate between spraying and then also opening the bottle and just splattering the ink onto the paper. After each application, I just shake the box around so the color can move around and then papers that don't have any color can move to the top. So you just apply and shake, apply and shake. You can use any colors that you want depending on what project you're creating for this and also you don't have to use inks. You can use watered down acrylics or even watercolors, whatever you have on your craft table. I would really recommend that you give this a go. It's really therapeutic, I find, and a really fun process. It's a bit messy, but the final result is really great, and you can use these scraps for so many different projects. I would really love if you subscribed to my channel. I have a lot of projects coming your way. I do junk journals, art journaling, I do tutorials, and of course, this is home of the Full Deck Challenge. Once you're subscribed, don't forget to also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. So I'm just going to continue adding my inks. I add about four different colors before I then run the heat tool over just to dry everything. I do let some of the wet inks sort of blend into each other to create more interest and different colors for my scraps. Some of the scraps will stick together and that's perfectly normal. Just pull them apart, separate them and then just dry in between. The sticking together is really not a problem and it creates more designs and patterns on your papers. I'm also going to add some brighter colour. This is my Colour Burst Powders by Ken Oliver. So I just apply a little bit of the powder which is very very concentrated in the turquoise and the fuchsia and then I spray some water and then toss everything about. And you can see the bright pops of colour. I love adding contrast to my scraps, so I'm going to do some splattering with some watered down black acrylic paint. I'm going to use a thin paintbrush for this.
I'm going to do the same with watered down white acrylic paint. I really feel that the black and white splattering brings the scraps to life. I also like to add a little bit of glitz onto my happy scraps, so I like to add some gold metallic paint. This is an acrylic paint in a gold. It is super metallic. I found this at Big W here in Australia, and I find it is one of the most, most metallic types of acrylic paint, and it's really beautiful and has a very, very strong luster. So I'm just going to squeeze some out and then I'm going to add some water to water it down and then do some splattering and it brings a beautiful gold luster all over the scraps. Let me know if you love these happy scraps as much as I do. Also, any ideas of any kind of project you'd like to see me create with these happy scraps, always welcome. Put it down in the comments below. Once you're happy with the amount of paint and you've tried everything, you can look at your beautiful pieces and see the gorgeous designs that each strip has. Each one totally unique. Now the way I'm going to create my little specimen windows, I have a piece of acetate. You can find this in any stationery shop that normally come in a pack of 5 or 10. And I'm just going to cut mine down to a small size. I'm doing 7 centimeters by 7 centimeters, but you can do it as big or as small as you need for your project. If you don't have acetate, you could also use a laminating sheet that you've put through the laminator that's also quite sturdy. You could also use cellophane, but that's a little bit flimsy. You need something slightly firmer. Um, for the way we're going to create it, you don't want it to be a floppy specimen card. Unless, of course, you're going to stick it onto one of your junk journal pages, or maybe onto an index card, or onto some kind of a background. If it's going to be freestanding, sort of just to pop into a pocket, it needs to be a little bit firmer. Now comes the next fun part, where we're going to attach our happy scraps to the border of our acetate. So find the pieces that you want to use and then fold them in half. We're going to attach them over the edge of each side of the acetate. I found this the easiest and quickest way to attach them. We're then going to use a glue stick to attach these to the four sides of the acetate. I'm using a glue stick because I want to then also still run it underneath the sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine for the next step, you could use a stronger glue like a craft glue or even double sided tape for this part. I love how each side is different and unique, but the colors coordinate and it all matches up. And you can actually see from here the gold luster and how much it shines. I will hold this up closer to the camera just in a little while so you can see better, but you can already see, I think it's looking really, really good.
I'm loving these already. I hope you are too. Let me show you a quick close up so you can see how the colors look on the edges. I think that's super fun. I'm now going to take it and run it under my sewing machine. I'm using a turquoise thread and I'm doing just a running stitch and then doing some of my bunching thread technique just to create a bit of interest. If you'd like to know how I do that, I do have a video tutorial that I will link also in the description below. Now you can add anything to the middle of this. You can make it like a normal specimen card and you can put a kind of an insect, a butterfly or a dragonfly. I'm going to use sentiments to be a little bit different. I have these stickers that I got off AliExpress. They're pretty easy to use and they're super fun. Now I wasn't quite sure if I should use the black and white or the white and black. Personally, I think the black with the white writing looks better. It contrasts better. Why don't you tell me in the comments below which one you prefer? And here's a final close-up to see each of these little specimen cards. I think they're super fun. Add a lot of interest to your project. And you can make them in advance. You can also make some and send them as happy mail. And it's a great way to use up your scraps. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own happy scraps and then turn them into something fun like a specimen window. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.